In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use Quick License to protect a Mac or Windows application. We'll start with a little Hello World program that we've created in our source folder. And we're going to launch the Quick License application and define a license that we're going to apply to that application. Within the main Quick License window, we see we already have one row of information filled in for this product license that we want to apply. Before we look at the details of that license, let's bring up the setup panel and we can see that we've defined a path to where we want to generate a ticket file that defines all the information about that license and then we'll apply that ticket to this application that we want to protect. So we have a path here to our ticket folder and you'll see in a moment that the ticket will be generated into that folder. So we'll bring up the license dialog by clicking in the first column of this row. We've already given it a, the name of our ticket of Hello Product and version 1.0 and security 999. We bring up the license dialog and here we can find all the information about this license. Let's review the information within this license dialog for this product ticket that we're defining. There are several panels of information. On the ticket panel, we've set the Master Ticket of New Records checkbox and selected the Master Ticket group. These are just organizational features. The most important things here is this is a product license that we want once activated. We never want that product license to time out, so we'll set the Never Timeout checkbox and we're also going to allow this license to be uh, installed and activated. If the user would choose to uninstall and install it again later, that will allow them to reactivate that license. So we'll set that checkbox as well. On the activation panel, we're going to set activation required, machine calculated, and there's a calculation here. That means that when the user launches it for the very first time, they'll see an activation dialog and the user will have to insert a unique activation code into that dialog to activate the license for that machine. Finally, on the reset panel, we have reset enable. That's just a feature built into the protected application that would allow you to uh, reset the license if you ever choose to in the future. We can now make the ticket file by clicking the button and when we cl click OK, and save and quit out of this uh, quick license window. If we look in our source folder, we now see that we've produced a ticket file that defines all the information about this product license that we want to apply to our application. There are two ways to apply a license to our application. We can either use the add license wrapping tool, or we can use the quick license API by inserting a few lines of code into our application that calls the quick license runtime file directly. We'll start with the uh, Add License Wrapping tool. When we open up Add License, we'll choose an unused record and give it a name. And here we'll define all the information used to wrap our application with that license to produce a protected application. So we're going to select the application that we want to wrap. And within our source folder, we'll select, uh, here's the application. We'll select the ticket file that defines the license that we want to apply and we can apply our own icon or by default we'll just use the icon already assigned to that application and finally let's generate the protected application into a specific output folder so we'll select that folder now that's pretty much all we need to do uh, to set up our uh, information to apply the license other than we have to enter the version number and the security code of that license that we defined within the uh, main window of Quick License. At this point, if we click Build Protected Application, it takes a few seconds and we'll have generated a protected version of our application, which we can see now we'll quit out of Quick License and look at the output folder and here's a protected version of our application that's ready to ship to a customer.
We can rename this protected application to whatever we want and when shipped it to a customer on first launch, the customer is going to see an activation dialog as shown here. The customer will give you a request number in that dialog and you'll return back an activation code that will activate your software on their computer. That process can be fully automated with an online activation server and a serial number that you give to the customer at time of purchase. Let's take a look at the manual activation process now. If we launch Quick License, we can go to the license dialog that defined the license for that application. And within the dialog on the activation panel, if we put that request number for that computer, click the activation button, here's the activation code that's needed for that specific machine. So let's return to the activation dialog and put in that code. And now we see that the application has been activated and it's running. Each launch thereafter just immediately begins to run. The license is always validated, so it cannot be copied to another computer without requiring a new activation code. If you choose to use the API approach to protect your application, you'll need to read the uh, API chapter within the user guide, which defines all the various commands that can be sent to the Quick License Runtime. There's an examples PDF file that has sample code for various programming languages. Once you've inserted the code to call the runtime file directly from within your application, you'll distribute a runtime file and the ticket file with your application to customers. There are various, various builds of the runtime file on a Mac. There's Quick License RT, which is a application that processes all the licensing uh, commands. There's also a static library for Xcode. So if you're developing with Xcode, you'll, you'll compile the runtime directly into your application. On Windows, there's a DLL and an EXE version of the runtime file and also runtime files for Android. If you choose to use the API approach, the send message application can simplify development and testing. Essentially, it emulates your application by allowing you to send it a text command to the runtime file and the response to that command is shown at the bottom. Let's try a simple example. We'll send the command. The Quick License Runtime will process the command and return the response string. There's lots of commands in the runtime file, but in general, most applications can be protected by sending just a single command to the runtime and based on the response string, your application can determine whether to continue to run normally or quit the application. In this video, we've introduced the Quick License application for protection and licensing of virtually any kind of software. We've seen how you can use Quick License to define the license and then apply that license with either the Add License Wrapping tool or by calling the Quick License runtime file directly using its API. To learn more about Quick License and related products, go to excelsoftware.com and click on the Protect and License button.